Days of heavy rain overwhelmed barriers in China's Hunan province, flooding people's homes with muddy water. Emergency workers rescued people trapped as waters rose in this village. Some could only escape through their windows. It was so dark, the water was up to my waist. It was very deep and murky, and I couldn't tell what I was stepping on. Thousands of people have been forced from their homes. This is one of four schools in the area being used as a shelter. The downpours were caused by the remnants of Typhoon Gaimi that made landfall in China's southern Fujian province last week. That led to waters breaching three dikes along the Zhuanshui River. Much of China has been battling torrential rain and flooding in recent weeks, with at least 15 provinces now on emergency alert. They triggered landslides and cut off villages. Much needed supplies have been flown in by helicopter. In the northeast, another low-pressure weather system caused heavy downpours that flooded large areas of farmland. Authorities warned the heavy rain could impact the grain harvest. Experts say climate change is making this kind of extreme weather more common. One of the if impacts of global warming is that it tends to heat up the ocean, and so therefore there will be more moisture going into the atmosphere. These uh, typhoons, when they make landfall, because you have all this moisture coming in, will therefore tend to bring uh, much heavier rain to these places where they were not used to. The rain is set to continue in the north in the coming days. China's leaders are warning controlling floods this summer will be difficult as major waterways like the Yellow River are likely to overflow. And with the typhoon season set to continue into August, the government is likely to come under more pressure to protect those who are vulnerable. Laura Westbrook, Al Jazeera, Hong Kong.